Everyone in that band has a solo spot anyway, so we all kind of, and that would be Reb's moment. So I was like, okay, well, I'll try and do something in the style of Reb, but not just, I'm not gonna learn anything note for note, but do my own thing as well. Um, so I kind of, we're coming, we were finishing um, a song called Time to Surrender, and I would kind of start with this kind of hybrid picking riff, which yeah. goes like. It's a great video too because everyone's yeah. screaming the whole Yeah, time. it makes it sound much more impactful. And the yeah. tone is killer, so yeah, keep going. And then what would I do after that? Um, I think I'd maybe wear some... Yeah. And then yeah, I'll go into a tapping thing. Yeah, it basically just noodle around for as long as I could do it, you know. There's one part where it goes like really major kind of sound. Yeah, so, like so I'm kind of all based around E, and I'm starting off essentially on like a... Uh, kind of that. And I go to like a... That's like a highlighting E major chord, and then I would go... Just kind of get like a, a yeah. C major, C kind of thing going on. And this part is where it gets interesting. Yeah, that was the one I was thinking like of. E major yeah. to C major to C sharp minor. Back to C major, D major, yeah. so that all together slowly would move. Yeah. And I'll do that twice, but then the second time around I kind of ascend. And then I'll just do this E major kind of thing. Back down to the C. Something like that. I'd change it every time and just play yeah. it with my bow. It's it was... very creative in that. I mean, you're using standard kind of tapping technique, but mm -hmm. the harmonies are yeah. so beautiful. They keep shifting around the whole. Yeah, well, I mean. It really keeps you interested, you know? That was my theory because I didn't want to be the guy who just comes out and just goes yeah. for like three minutes because that'll be boring. I think if I'm going to do this, if I have to do this improvised or this solo spot, it has to be appealing to not necessarily just the guitarists who like want to see something cool and flashy, but if I'm there and I don't know anything about music, I just want to hear something cool, what sounds interesting to the ear, you know, as a, as a non-musician. So um, that's why I want it to be like, like almost like a song. You're, you're essentially crafting a song. You start maybe with some riffing and then you do some pe pentatonic kind of stuff. And then you kind of build into this big climactic thing to the biggest you know, yeah, big note kind of thing. And yeah, that's when this tapping thing, I don't know even know how it came up with it. I was just trying to think what would Reb, what might Reb might do. And when I watched his solo spots, he would always do essentially that. He would start with a riff yeah. and he'd go on some bluesy things, then some whammy bar harmonic stuff. And then he'd have a whole tapping phrase that would often do similar kind of very interesting harmonic stuff where he'd be doing a major thing, yeah. a blend, you know, and kind of go in and out of different kind of non-diatonic phrases kind of thing. And I was like, what can I do then? So oh, yeah. I found after like tapping non-stop for like a minute, your hand starts to cramp up. So I'd have to be careful as I've started off, because I'd start off slow. Yeah. And I would slowly build up. 
and have to get to a tempo there for like, what can I do comfortably without really thinking about yeah. it? If I go too fast, yeah. then I have to carry on at that same tempo for the rest of the yeah, sort you start of... smelling smoke off your wrist. Yeah, and, yeah, and everything <laughs> starts to like seize up. So um, that was what I came up with. But yeah, I learned a lot from, from Reb. Like his, the way he taps is very interesting. The thing I learned most from him was that um, when I was, if I were tapping like in that to do a solo messing on, I would always kind of go like, something like this would be the cliche guitar thing, right? Which is, which is yeah. cool. Um, and that always kind of, the right hand always taps like on the downbeat, so yeah. one, two, three, four, one, two, like that. Yeah. Whereas he would often, the right hand tapping part would come in like on, on later, like he'll start the phrase like that. Yeah. So he might have somewhere he goes. Like a cool thing like that, which sounds instantly more interesting than just going. Yeah. You know, all that cool. Exactly. You know, all these kind of cool little things you would do, you know. You know yeah. And I was never really a, a tapper before that, and I realized, okay, there's, there's so much more to like, the way you can do this, and which parts you can tap, and where you can tap, and I got really into kind of how could I kind of come up with cool phrases. You know, these cool. little melodic ideas that aren't just like tapped licks, so to speak. Yeah, but, um, that's great. He's the master of that, you know, he kind of really kind of has his own way of doing it, and so I'm just trying to keep up.